aunties, uncles, nieces, nephews, and cousins, make sure to hit the notifications bell and subscribe and give me a follow on Facebook. So listen, here's my thing when it comes to Diddy. I don't know if you guys are aware, but his ex-security guard of years has recently spoken out. Not only has he spoken out, but since speaking out, his Instagram account has mysteriously disappeared, so much so that he had to start a new page in which he indicated that Diddy got his page shut down. Now, when it comes to this security guard, he wasn't just a security guard that was around for, you know, a month or so. This is someone that was with him for years. So much so that when he wanted to resign he blamed it on his sickness because Mr. Bond suffers from diabetes and he expressed to Diddy that that is the reason why he just no longer could do it but the reality was the environment was toxic the environment was sick this was something that his security guard could no longer handle and if you notice or not when it comes to people that used to work with Diddy, they always speak of the environment. I advise a lot of you to look into the story of Capricorn Clark. If you're not familiar with Capricorn Clark, Capricorn Clark is the sister of Lauren London, and she was also Diddy's personal assistant for 11 years, ending in 2012. Now, there's some scutterbutt as into why she resigned, and it does include abuse, as so does many other cases, but her story is very very similar as well. Lori Ann Gibson's situation and her story as into her departure is similar as well. Uh, Aubrey O'Day and her departure with Diddy is similar as well. Uh, Black Rob and his eyes had quite a few things to say. Uh, Freddie from making the band had a lot to say. So I said all that to say, and I named all these people because I I'm going to continuously say this and I'm going to continuously report on Diddy and I'm going to explain why. When there's smoke, there's fire and there's been smoke surrounding Diddy for years and we turned a blind eye to it. Similar to how people turned a blind eye to R. Kelly and allow this man to continue on to work and produce with artists knowing his very dark past. Now, when it comes to Diddy, here's why I'm upset. The minorities, you'll understand. There's a saying, we have to work twice as hard to get half of what they have. Now, mo most people might not believe my sentiments or share those sentiments, but that's my sentiment, okay? But I do believe that. We are held to a higher standard. So when it comes to certain minorities, I applaud, I root because I know that it's not easy. And trust me, minority is not just African-American. So let's be clear there. Um, so when it comes to minorities and when they reach a certain plateau and level of success, I root for them. I do, especially women too. It's not easy. It's very hard. And with Diddy, this is why I feel like he deserves what he is getting because here you you had a man that had a talent and had a business savvy sense that could have lived a life free of drama and toxicity. Okay. Diddy made every choice, every choice with every record deal, every business that he put in his mom's name, every artist that has to fight for their publishing or fight to be released from their contract. He made every single decision. Now, when it comes to this Cassie lawsuit going back, the security guard is one of many who can attest to what took place. So when people are asking, why did he settle? He settled because he didn't want people prying. His security guard's Instagram account was taken down because he no longer wants people speaking. Now, this is a security guard that can attest to at least one encounter, but stating that there's more. So the fact that there's one person that can confirm alludes to it being more. And Diddy knew that. And that's why he had to silence. Now, my source... Thank you, Source, uh, connected in the industry as shared, despite knowing their relationship and what took place, Diddy continuously liked certain posts of Cassie's on Instagram. Those have since been removed, but it could explain why she felt enough is enough and decided to pursue. Because I can only imagine if someone that hurt me and caused me trauma, if now this person is almost taunting me by harding pictures or photos. So we're just going to say allegedly that that was done. Okay. Allegedly, but based on his character and things that we have heard over the years, 
over the years at this point. This coincides with the ditty that we've danced to for years. But let's be honest. He's not a great person. He hasn't been a great person. And many people have told us that Diddy is not a great person. But I'm guilty of this too. So this is not to shun anyone because guess what? I still jammed and give me a toot toot and beat beat to R. Kelly. I've done that separating the music from the scandal. But when it comes to Diddy, we can't have these level of outrages and say he's a monster and not understand that we still, we as a culture and community still turned a blind eye to all of the stories that we've been listening to for years when it comes to him. I'm going to start doing my due diligence because you know what my chatters, I always say like when it comes to us and us being the consumers, we have no idea how powerful we truly are when it comes to the artist's success, when it comes to a store's success, when it comes to someone's book, it's us, the consumers that make these people successful. So I myself am going to do my due diligence and really focus on where I I decide to put my hard earned dollars because I don't think I know I want to support behavior such as this moving forward. And I myself, again, accountability, something that I think that Diddy has yet to do. And he tried so before. Again, I get to ranting. But do you remember when he started that brother love and he was operating from love? When people know that they have done wrong, but they can't reveal why, then they want to get on this peaceful journey. I think that Diddy was screaming out to us and a lot of people weren't listening, but I feel like that change within him is because he knew the evil that he's done and was really trying to turn over this new leaf. And that was him in his mind holding himself accountable. But you can't hold yourself accountable by simply picking up some sage and some incense and now you want to move in peace. That doesn't eliminate all that you've done. So I pay attention to people's movements and what they say. And I feel like that whole brother love movement was his conscious. But when it comes to my hard earned dollars, I'm making a conscious effort to do my due diligence and I decide where I want to spend them. And I'm no longer spending them with Diddy. So as always, make sure to like, comment, follow and subscribe and be your own voice. Until next time.